What up, YouTube? Tim Moose here. Here's my review for the new Amazon film titled One Night in Miami, which is directed by Regina uh, King, who of course won an Oscar for uh, It Beals She Could Talk. And of course, she, uh, you know, recently appeared on uh, HBO's series Watchmen. I mean, Regina King is always the best. I've always adored her. Anyway, uh... So, in the film, One Night in Miami is actually based on a play. I thought it was a an original content, but it's actually based on a play. And it tells the a story of, uh, of, you know, four iconic, uh, black figures, including civil rights uh, activist Malcolm X, portrayed by Kingsley Ben, uh, um, other boxer and activist, uh, Cassius Clay, a.k.a. Muhammad Ali, played by Eli Gore, uh, singer-songwriter Sam Cooke, played by, uh, Leslie Odom Jr., and football uh, superstar Jim Brown, played by Eldest Hodge, who's, of course, you're going to be seen in uh, Black Adam um, next year. And so, uh, you know, the film, of course, takes place in um, Miami Beach, Florida, on the night of February 25th, 1964. And uh, Cases uh, Clay, who have yet to uh, formally change his name to Muhammad Ali, so we don't really hear my, um, him being called Muhammad Ali yet. Uh, has, of course, just won a uh, heavyweight uh, boxing championship and is on the uh, top of the world here. And he later is joined by uh, his you know, three friends at a local uh, hotel where they, um, you know, argue, laugh, trade, uh, stories and all. It kind of reminds me of that recent Netflix movie, uh, Boys in the Band, in a way. So it reminds me of that. Anyway, um, the movie, of course, just takes place in um, the one night in Miami. Uh, and the dialogue between the four were really solid to watch. Uh, I mean... Kingsley Ben Adair portraying Malcolm X, what a really cool career this guy is um, having. You know, most recently he just portrayed uh, Barack Obama in that uh, Comey role, and now he's playing Malcolm X. Wow. Well, talk about an interesting career. I mean, I'm curious to see what uh, historical figures he's going to play next um, in the future. But uh, anyway, uh, Aldous Hodge, I thought he really abided the role of Jim Brown. He was great as that character, as that role. Leslie Owen Jr., we know he could sing well, so he was really good at playing the role of Sam Cooke. Uh, Eli Gore, who I haven't really seen him much. I mean, I've seen him pop up in Riverdale, but I guess you could say this is like his breakout role. I thought Eli Gore um, really by the role of Muhammad Ali or Cassius K. I really quite like the Muhammad Ali name, to be honest with you. But anyway, uh, yeah, I thought the uh, fight scenes with uh, Clay was really solid to watch. Uh, the dialogue is definitely perfect. Uh, it's a little slow at times, I would admit. But it is pretty cool to see that these uh, four, you know, were really, uh, you know, BFFs. And, of course, um, they are, you know, um, they end up um, being, uh, you know, discussed the responsibilities of being successful black men during the civil rights uh, movement um, at the time. And I thought it was a really decent um, effort by Regina King. I'm really curious to see what um, you know what her next directing debut will be. And you also had some other interesting castles. Like you had uh, Bo Bridges was in this. Lance Reddick, who I've always adored. And uh, I, I really like Lance Reddick in the John Wick movies. He was great. Uh, the Deuce actor Lawrence Gerard Jr. was in this. Uh, Jeremy Pope. Jerome A. Uh, Wilson. Uh, Michael Perioli from Sopranos fame. Uh, this is definitely a really solid uh, work, and if you guys have not seen it, it's on Amazon. Go watch it. I think you'll enjoy it. Anyway, let me leave you guys. Did you have a chance to check out One Night in Miami? If so, what you thought of it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Timu Sion.